Hello, and welcome to another virtual learning webinar series from New Farm. My name is Jamie Heidinger, and I'm the National Cool Season Lawn and Landscape Key Accounts Manager. Today, we're going to be discussing ARENA. ARENA insecticide comes in two formulations. ARENA is in a 50% WDG, a water dispersible granule formulation that can be mixed with water and sprayed. It also comes in a granular formulation that can be spread with most fertilizer spreaders. Those bags are 30 pounds. There's a wide range of use rates for both the sprayable and the granular formulation uh, that would be dependent on the species and the time of your application. Arena is the best choice for soil pests and some surface insects. It can be used in golf and lawn care, residential and commercial settings. Annual bluegrass weevil is a, a pest that's come out of the northeast and as far west as Ohio. There's also been reports of crane fly larvae causing troubles, well, of course, in western New York and parts of Michigan. Arena does not need to be immediately watered in, which can save time and labor. Arena is also very quick acting for the reduction of turf damage caused by foraging animals like skunks and raccoons. There are a number of insects in the turf profile, but we're just going to touch base on the turf insect pest of importance. These uh, Insects can reside in the soil or they can also do their damage and reside in the leaf, stem, and thatch area. Soil pests are primarily grubs, and that's what we're going to spend most of our time on in this presentation. There are also mole crickets, ants, and the black turf grass, Atenius. Some of the insects that cause trouble in that thatch area in the stems is bill bugs, chinch bugs, cut worms, sod web worms, and the annual bluegrass weevil. The chart to the right shows a simple life cycle of the mass chafer. The beetles are out and about in late spring, early summer. They'll lay their eggs sometime around the 4th of July, and those eggs will hatch out, and then you have the first instar. Depicted by my circle. Anyhow, these grubs up. Uh, grow. They, they're eating. They're very hungry. They're eating a lot of roots and, uh, of the plant and cause a lot of trouble on the turf. As the season goes on and the temperatures get colder, they'll start to go lower into the soil, anywhere from 3 to 12 inches. They overwinter and then they create this pupae and it eventually uh, also matures into a beetle and that uh, cycle continues. The bars mark preventive in those, those within that area, it's when you need to have your preventive insecticide uh, treatment down. You need to have that in and have uh, the ability for that to get into the soil area uh, before the eggs hatch. After that point, you're, you're at the curative application timing. Arena has a fit for all season. Um, it's very uh, effective as a preventative and a curative application. The preventative uh, target, like I mentioned in an earlier slide, is uh, before the first instar grub. So the insects are, uh, insecticides are applied prior to that ag lay, and um, you need time and uh, material moisture to get that chemical down where it belongs and available when the eggs hatch, so that when the first instars begin feeding, they'll be able to take this material in. They'll take care of them. After that point, uh, then you're in the curative application uh, time frame. And ARENA is um, a curative application with speed equal to or greater than any of the competitive products out there for curative. So that's kind of a unique uh, feature about ARENA. It's a great prevention tool and curative tool. ARENA provides flexibility of application all season long. On the top, we've uh, listed the ARENA 50 WDG rate, and down below uh, is the granular application rate for this different time period throughout the season. Most generally, in April, grubs are coming out of winter dormancy, 
and are lethargic and most generally are not feeding aggressively. It doesn't mean you, you won't see them, but usually they're not causing a lot of turf damage. However, there are instances when they are, and when they are, the uh, recommended rate is 12.8 ounces per acre or 160 pounds per acre. That will accomplish two things. It will be a curative application on the existing grubs. It'll also provide uh, grub prevention throughout the entire season. As you move into May, the recommended rate is 9.6 ounces for the WDG 100 or 120 pounds per acre of the granular formulation. In June, you can take that rate down to 6.4 or 80 pounds per acre. When it comes to bill bugs, we make a suggestion of keeping that rate no lower than 6.4 ounces per acre. Moving into July, at least the three, the first three weeks of July, uh, 4.5 ounces or 60 pounds per acre is a good prevention rate. Once you get in to the fourth week or into the first week of August, you're certainly going to be uh, attacking grubs with a curative application at the 9.6 ounce or 120 pounds per acre rate. A lot of the this uh, high rate, it's basically a, a little bit of a, it's up and then comes down, back up. A lot of that has to do with the size of the instar, the grubs, and the amount of feeding and activity that goes on. So when you're making curative applications, you have to have the higher rate. Uh, and in this early application in May, you need that residual to take you all the way through the season. But as you can see, it can be applied about any time through the year with very, uh, very little failure on controlling the grubs. This chart shows uh, the results of a study conducted uh, in two different years, uh, 2014 and 2015. The bar graphs depict the percent control of uh, Japanese beetle grubs with applications of arena and dialox. The first year, 2014, the arena treatment was applied May 9th only. The dialox treatment was applied May 9th and reapplied in September. So there were only one application of arena with that kind of percent control and two applications of Dialox. So we wanted to run the same test uh, in another year to see if we could replicate those same results. And sure enough, in 2015, uh, similar timings with the applications. The arena was applied once on May 4th, and the Dialox was applied on May 4th and reapplied September 12th with, uh, well, no better or similar uh, results uh, as the arena with one application. So arena is a great value. You're, you're, you're uh, seeing here the results of um, uh, one application of arena versus two applications of Dialox. Arena also has very good curative control as well. The chart on the left uh, shows the speed of arena on third instar northern mass chafer grubs uh, six days after treatment, nine days after treatment, and 12 days after treatment. All of those evaluation time frames uh, it clearly showed arena with uh, better control than Dialox. So arena is as fast as Dialox, and uh, the data from the Ohio State study uh, shows that in this, uh, this particular chart. The chart on the right was out of Virginia Tech, and um, 14 days after treatment on uh, third instar mass chafer grubs, uh, you can again see where arena is a better control option. To this point, we've talked about arena and a couple of other insecticides, uh, but we haven't talked about uh, the importance of getting the insecticides uh, to where they belong to do the best uh, controlling of insects as possible. There's several ways that insecticides um, can move and get or not get where they belong. So the first one is water solubility. It impacts the movement of, of the material through the turf profile and within the plant. 
The KOC value, just a fancy term for a soil absorption coefficient, that's even a fancy term. Basically, it's just a measurement of the attraction of the material to the soil and or thatch. Also, the half-life of the material, which is a measure of the longevity after the application. Little photo, you can see there's uh, some barriers to getting the material where it belongs. So you have the grass blades, of course. You got the thatch layer and then the soil and root uh, system. So some insecticides need to remain more into the thatch area. We talk about soil insecticides. They need to be into that uh, soil and root zone system. We have two graphs here. Uh, the one on the left is showing the solubility comparisons between some commonly used uh, in preventative insecticides for grub treatments. Uh, when you look at a celeprin, it's, it's not very water soluble um, as compared to meridian, which is fairly water soluble. So the higher the number, the more soluble in water that material is. When you look at the soil binding potential, the KOC value, um, again, um, we believe arena is in the right spot. It's, uh, it doesn't get held up above that thatch layer, in that thatch layer where it doesn't belong, it actually has a potential to get to the soil area. Um, that can be some of the problems with uh, uh, merit or imidacloprid. Uh, sometimes you'll find uh, you got to water it in considerably more than what is natural um, because it just gets tied up in that thatch layer. Uh, if you've ever heard uh, or you're familiar with the uh, Goldilocks and Three Bears story where one porridge was too hot, one porridge was too cold, and the third was just right, we believe the same with arena. We believe we have the right combination of solubility and binding to potential to allow it to get through the thatch, and provide that great residual that you get with arena. Why does it matter that we're talking about the solubility and the KOC? Uh, information with the different insecticides well again we need to remember where they reside and where they cause their damage you've got the soil pest again mostly here we're talking about grubs then you have the thatch and the leaf and stem inhibiting uh, uh, bugs too so it's important to know uh, those pieces of information about the solubility and how it gets held up or not uh, because you need to have an idea uh, what's going to happen when you make that insecticide application to the pest you're making it to. What makes Arena different? Well, in looking at some of the more commonly used grub products out there, we'll break them down here a little bit. So a celeprin if, uh, is strictly a preventive application alternative. Uh, it has uh, no curative activity, which really limits its uh, timing. So if you don't get it down as a preventative uh, treatment, then um, you'll fail if you try to use it as a, as a curative. Uh, Arena, on the other hand, has both preventive and curative control for less money, which really allows you greater flexibility and control. Dialox, uh, even according to the label, uh, must be watered in after application, which really increases the labor and the reentry time uh, of people and pets to come back on that turf area. With Arena, um, you can uh, have re-entry into the area after the spray has dried or if you use the granule, the dust is settled. So it's really a shorter window. Also with Dialox, um, every day that it doesn't get washed off the particle or doesn't, you know, doesn't get watered in, um, you start to lose the effect of that compound. Unlike Arena, uh, eventually it does need to be watered off the granular or the spray it needs to be watered in. Uh, but if it's a number of days till that happens, you still have the full effectiveness of the arena. Merit and Meridian, um, early season uh, applications can be weak. They break down. Uh, and they also, both Merit and Meridian has a less uh, pest spectrum than what does arena. So again, arena has that long residual and it has uh, picks up more species. Wanted to touch base about a few of the differences between arena granular and dialox granular. One that is on top of the list here is that mandatory watering in requirement of dialox granular. Um, we don't have that with arena. Eventually both products need to uh, move down where they belong, but you'll have the full effects of arena 
even if it is a number of days until you get irrigation on it or rain, unlike Dilox that needs to be watered in immediately. One of the things also is um, Arena doesn't have any thatch restrictions or, um, where Dilox can, is, has a tendency to get held up in that thatch layer, so there's a recommendation to rake or dethatch the area prior to applying. Arena also has no golf turf restrictions where there's uh, broadcast applications of Dilox is limited to tees and greens with only spot treatments and fairways. The residual control difference in arena is pretty significant. For instance, if you had a grub outbreak in early September, uh, applying uh, arena then would knock out that hatchings and any other species of grubs hatchings later all the way through the fall period. Where if you applied Dilox to that same area in early September, it's not gonna have the residual to cover any other species of grub outbreaks that could happen into October. So one application in the fall of a curative rate of arena is going to protect you from any grub damage throughout the rest of that calendar year. We also believe that arena is a superior performing material with the largest or widest spectrum of control. Some of the main key takeaways about arena is that it's a long, broad spectrum residual product with strong curative activity. Why does this matter? Well, with the wide application window for season-long control, um, you can apply it preventatively early, and that residual will take care of uh, your uh, grub prevention throughout the entire season. It can also be used uh, any time for curative applications, and you don't have to go back in and worry about second applications because of that great residual. Also, it's a very easy product because you don't need to water it in immediately, which saves labor. You also uh, don't need to worry about callbacks in the lawn care side of the business. When you get the right rate down, um, you really don't have to worry about Arena uh, not covering you through that period of time. It's going to keep you grub free. Also, it has an added benefit of having some good activity on some of the golf pests out there, you know, ABW, crane fly, sod webworm, cutworm, and armyworms. So it's got a nice spectrum of control. Put in here that does not need to be watered in. Maybe I should say doesn't need to be watered in immediately because eventually both products need to have the active ingredient down into that below that thatch layer to uh, prevent those grubs and, and take care of those grubs. But the need for that to happen immediately is just not uh, there for Arena, which gives you a little bit more flexibility in where you can use it and how you can use it. I'd like to thank everyone for watching and listening to this presentation. I would invite you to go to the website www.newfarm.com backslash US turf and then click on resources to watch and listen to a number of other webinars on turf topics. I also invite any emails or phone calls with any questions or comments. Uh, my email and phone number are listed on this slide. Thank you very much and I hope you remain healthy.